Now, I've had a number of people ask me to go a bit deeper into Fortnite and how it runs and performs on the new M1 MacBooks. So in this video, that is exactly what I'll do. And what I wanna say first of all is that this is actually the second time of me making this video. I've just shot this video about half an hour ago and I was actually just so blown away with the performance of this computer that I just had to do it again. It really surprised me. And I know I keep saying this, but this machine just keeps surprising me. So make sure you watch until the end and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So first things first, we'll open up Epic Games. And if you've seen my previous gaming video, you would know that Epic Games is very laggy. It's not very well optimized at all. So we'll just skip through this and we will open up Fortnite. Now, just while Fortnite is loading, I'll quickly go through my gaming setup real quick. So I've just got a real standard SteelSeries gaming mouse, and that is plugged directly into the computer with an adapter. I also have the charger plugged into the adapter, and then I've just got a real basic mouse pad here. So nothing fancy. It's not the most comfortable of setups, but it gets the job done. All right, so first things first, we're gonna go into Battle Royale, and then we're also going to go into the settings. And I'll actually show you what settings I've been using and what settings you should use to squeeze the most performance out of this machine when you're playing Fortnite. So if we go up to settings in the top right-hand corner, and you can see here, these are the settings I'm currently using. So full screen, I always set my games to full screen mode. Resolution, I'll come back to that in a second. Frame rate, I'll come back to that as well. If we scroll down to graphics quality, I set everything to medium, although the machine, although the Mac auto set it to high, I prefer medium, just gives me a little bit more FPS. And then if we come down here, V-Sync off, motion blur off, you don't need that, that's just gonna suck up performance. Show FPS on, allow multi-threaded rendering on, and this bottom one, use GPU crash debugging off. Now, coming back to resolution and frame rate, this actually, again, just completely blew me away. So up until about half an hour ago, I had been playing on the 1440 by 900 resolution, which is a 16 by 10 display ratio. And I thought that was pretty much the max you could get before you would start to see performance decreases. Now, I decided to try the max resolution. Now, this is the native Mac resolution of 2560 by 1600, and I did not expect it to work at all. And amazingly, it did work. And not only that, but I was getting a solid 60, 70, 80, sometimes 90 frames per second. Let me say that again, 90 frames per second in the full native resolution on a $1,000 base model MacBook Air. It is absolutely insane. So what I might actually do now is I'm just gonna to cut to the original video I made where I actually discover just how powerful this Mac is and how well it runs Fortnite. But it's still more than playable at 60 FPS. Now this is gonna be absolutely crazy if this works, but if we can get this at the full Mac, well, the full native Mac resolution of 2560 by 1600 at 60 FPS, and this is going to be probably one of the most impressive things I've seen out of this laptop. So let's apply that. And wow, I think that is actually playing at 60 FPS. That's incredible. It definitely is dropping frames here and there. Let's just get down to the ground and we'll see if it's the same or not. Okay, so we're on the ground now, let's try and destroy some trees and wow. That is absolutely incredible. It is holding steady at 60 FPS, even if we're destroying trees. That is incredible. And the quality actually looks really, really good as well. I would be more than happy to play this. Let's do some building. Wow, I'm extremely impressed by this. Just solid FPS does not dip at all. I wonder if we can push it a little bit further and max out the FPS. Okay, so 
Again, this is just blowing my mind right now. Uh, it's averaging about 80 to 90 FPS. So bear in mind, this is a base model 2020 MacBook Air. Just base model, eight gigs RAM, 256 gig hard drive, and it is maxing out this game at the max resolution at about 70 to 80 FPS. That is incredible. Almost no dropped frames, no screen tearing, no nothing. That is absolutely incredible. Now the final test is gonna be how hot is this MacBook? So we've been going for about 20 minutes now and it definitely is hot. It's not too hot, it's kind of in between hot and warm. Like I can still leave my fingers on it and it get too hot or too uncomfortable. Compare that to the older style of MacBooks, they would be boiling hot right now. And not to mention the fan noise would be just deafening. And again, this one has no fan, so it's dead silent. So let's just end that there. Leave the match. Okay, so safe to say I was pretty blown away with that. Um, that was incredible. I, I did not expect that at all. I thought we would have to set the resolution down to the absolute minimum. But as you saw there, it worked perfectly fine at the highest resolution. Pretty decent settings as well. And we were getting a solid 70 to 80, sometimes 90 frames per second on just this base model M1 MacBook Air. So I think we'll just leave this particular video there. So as you can see, Fortnite works perfectly fine on this computer. If you do want to see any other games, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll do my best. But apart from that, thank you guys for watching and I will catch you in the next one.